and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yasuo Swain. That's right, it's our first donation deck of the day. We're going to be playing Yasuo Swain. In fact, we got all donation decks today, so we got a whole bunch of viewer submitted decks. This list looks pretty interesting, some things to talk about. Um, we got Legion Grenadier for our two mana card. I think a lot of people play Crimson Disciple in here in the two mana slot. I kind of like the Grenadier because we're going to be pretty defensive with this thing. And Grenadier blocks um, a lot of things and is always doing that two damage to the enemy Nexus uh, no matter what. Um, you know, so that two damage is important for Swain, for leveling up Swain. Um so I kind of like Grenadier over Crimson Disciple because if you play Crimson Disciple, then you're like forced to play like Transfusion um, uh, and things like that, like maybe Imperial Demolitionist. Um, I kind of like you know just not having that many of those and just having some Legion Grenadiers. Um, so I like that. Um, we only have like the problem though is like Legion Gre like so I like that, but I'm I'm not sold on having Legion Grenadier as the only card we can cast for one or two mana. Everything else costs three or more. So, like, the only thing we can do on turn one or two is Legion Grenadier. And I don't really like that. We'll see how that goes. Um, so, no Fae Blade Twirler is definitely a surprising um, omission. But we're, we're kind of a... Con it looks like we're going to be more control. Like, the, like this is going to be a pretty heavy control deck. We got the full three Culling Strikes, three Death's Hand... Um, you know, using control there. Of course, Concussive Palm, Will of Ionia, those are definitely in here. Shadow Assassin drawn us those cards. The other thing that's the three of in here is Intimidating Roar, using this, um, hopefully with Yasuo. Uh, the combo of Intimidating Roar, Yasuo is um, real high upside. Like, the times that you can pull that off can be absolutely amazing and just be like a one-sided, um, you know, ruination, basically. Um, but then there's other times that if you don't have Yasuo in play, Intimidating Roar is not going to be doing very much for you. So it's it's a it's a risky play, um, but we're going with the full three of them. It's better like this. This is a card that's better right now because of um, Harrowing. With different people like you know, using Harrowing. This can stun you know two, three, four creatures from the Harrowing. You know besides the real big things um, right away. Um, and then we'll see, you know, we got one Leviathan, I'd kind of like a second to grab Swain, um, but you know, I could, we're going with that. So 19 units, 21 spells, lots of spells, um, let's see how it plays. So we're going to play some Yasuo Swain, we're going to go play over in Ranked, we can go play five games over in Ranked. Yeah, so this is a, this is like a control take on the Yasuo archetype. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see, because, you know, like, we've played, you know, like, uh, Fae Blade Twirler, for example. I've I've never played a Yasuo deck without Fae Blade Twirler. So, like, this will be interesting uh, to just kind of try try it, you know, and see, do we miss the Blade Twirler and stuff like that. It's always good to try different things, and, and uh, that's how you learn. You know, you can have the opinion of... If you play Yasuo, you have to play Fade Blade Twirler. You know, you can have that opinion. Um, but I don't know, that's like, that's finite and it kind of... I don't like having those kind of opinions of like, you got to do this, have to do this, this is better than this. Because then that, that's like a, that's like an ending, you know, having an opinion like that, like ending. I always like keeping an open mind and thinking and um, learning and everything like that. I don't like having... I don't want to close myself off to any possibilities. Minotaur Reckoner is actually probably going to be really good in this matchup, but obviously it's a six mana card. I still kind of want to keep it. I think this is a really good Minotaur Reckoner matchup. Okay. 
High tech, you, you think the deck doesn't need a Fae Blade Twirler? Okay. This is where Will of Ionia is kind of rough because we don't want to. I mean, we don't want to bounce a two mana card. It's very easy to replay a two mana card, and now, why do they have to draw the Enraged Yeti, the very first card? Uh, and now they have the one mana five five. I don't want to bounce a one mana five five either. It's very easy just to replay a five five. This is where. This is just the real strength of this Ash Sejuani deck. It shows how good this deck is. Why did that card have to be the first one? So basically, I could spend four mana and a card to gain five life. That's all we're doing. Like, this is just simply gain five life. And I guess so. I mean, looking at our hand and everything, it's... Who is the worst champion right now? Um, we fight for one Freljord. Just a look at the champion list. Um, The Trindomir is definitely an option. Remember me. I think Lee Sin. I don't know. There's not see, there's not really any bad champions. Like Braum was a Braum and Anivia were both bad champions before. They just got updated. There's not really any just bad champions anymore. I think every single champion is playable in its own own right. Um, same with Darius. Darius was a bad champion before it just got buffed also. Like, those were the bad champions. Um, this, is, this is really bad for me. I can't, I can't play Minotaur Reckoner now. I don't know why I stunned that thing. I, I stunned that thinking I don't want that to kill Minotaur Reckoner, but I should have just stunned a 5-5 and just had the 6-2 trade with the 3-2. Nice, Phil. Thanks for the donation deck. Uh... All right, cool. Twisted Fate deck. Um, I don't really see any way that we can win this game. I don't. I like. I don't. I don't know what the game's gonna look like where where we actually win. I see every move. I can't. I can't figure it out myself. Um. You cannot win. I see every Heed my words. No, Fizz is not terrible. Not at all. Yeah, you said Fizz, you said Jinx. The thing is, like, those are those are perfectly fine cards. Like, they're good cards. Like, there's there's not bad champions anymore. Just because a card, you know, just because a card isn't like one of the very best, doesn't mean it's a bad card. Uh, I'm 
I wish I wish I could play this and still have priority and go concussive bomb. Sleep is for the guiltless. A chill in the air. Alright, so Niceville has a Twisted Fate. Guide our allies, my friend. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely play that before Sunday. I think I've lost to this this Ash Sedgwani deck probably like probably like the last like five times I've played it in the last couple of days like yesterday we lost to it every single time we played it like this deck's really good let's draw a million guards yeah I don't I don't think I've beaten that deck in a very long time. At least I, I don't remember beating that deck um, recently. So it, I can't remember the last time I've beaten it. I mean, the game was already over before the Assessor. The Assessor just, you know, put it over the top. But I mean, there we had 0% chance of winning even before that Assessor. <laughs> yeah, it does completely counter all of our cards. Like, it's... Prob since I'm not sure about playing three Culling Strike, four, or sorry, not not four, but three. You know, we're playing three Culling Strike, three um, of the stun, everything that costs that has the power four or less, and all their stuff is power five or more. And it's just like our Culling Strikes and our Intimidating Roars do nothing. And I'm also not very sure about playing all these Ravenous Flocks. I guess they're supposed to be there to level up. I don't want any of these cards. I guess they're there supposed to be level up. Um, Swain. They seem difficult to turn on. I don't know. We're we're just one game in, you know, so it's not it's not that big of a sample. We've only played one game, but a control route that we're going is making me quite skeptical. One game. Then. Pulling strike's not going to be able to kill that. Sleep is for the guiltless. I don't need a plan. Trouble coming at ya. This is only going to do one damage because of the top, so it's only one damage for Swain level up. This is a risk. Hey, Anmo. There's the one 
to punch. I was hoping they would just take it and and then the priority would go to them and then they would play something and then I would play Reckoner. That's what I was hoping. Uh, really glad they don't have Deny. Maybe our Swain gets in some damage. Can, they can cast this Vault Breaker to make the Shadow Assassin a 4-2 in block, but that doesn't kill Swain. What's up, home homeowner? Oh, yeah, let me... Uh, homeowner, remind me I need to reset our sub -bolt. Our plan control... Yasuo, to start with. It's too late for you. That's a good hit. A lot of damage. 12 damage. Definitely the car that I was scared of. Man. I'm just not a fan of Coaling Strike. I just do not like this card. I probably should have just killed my own unit. It's the same as killing their unit, but they wouldn't have gotten the the three power towards the level up with Heimerdinger. So I might as well have just killed my own unit. Yeah, Killing Strike is not not reliable in the slightest, and it's not like. You know, I thought, well, why don't you just save the Culling Strike for the Heimerdinger for this turn? Well, they have this Vault Breaker. They're just going to maybe just double Vault Breaker, get two, three ones. Hmm. 
Yeah, the develop. Yeah, somebody said the developer said people need to play more Coaling Strike to counter Heimerdinger. Just completely ridiculous. Considering the main protection spell for Heimerdinger is Twin Disciplines. That was very silly. I think it still just make infinite three. You know, three one elusives. Ridiculous. Interesting solution. So we can put them down to one. Like a barrier, this three, two. We hit him for three. Oh no, so I'll put him down to three. And then we could also have Death's Hand. Gosh, they just have too many. Way too many free cards. Like, Minotaur Reckoner doesn't really help me out, because all Minotaur Reckoner does is give the two, you know, it stops the 2-1 tough, and then they still attack with all these things. Um... I'm gonna try saving Spirit's Refuge for the Vi. Is too good. Oh, they just had another flash brilliance. Why not? Got to be kidding me. So like we're we're playing a control deck, so you think we'd be able to kill a one a five mana one three, but we can't. But they had you know whenever they dropped Timer Dinger, they had two Flash of Brilliance, two Twin Disciplines, two Get Excited. It's just perfect. It's just all sorts of three mana spells. Like that's just just exactly what you want. Um, yeah, I mean that's exactly what you want. Do I want to keep Intimidating Roar? No. Three mana should not be the Fearsome one. Fearsome's really hard to block also. No, that doesn't... No. That's not how you fix Heimerdinger. Creating zero mana units that you get to play that are very impactful units is not a healthy thing for for gameplay. It's not you should not have you should not be able to create things that completely bypass your mana system. That's not a good thing for a game. Turning the three one turrets to have fearsome instead of elusive doesn't doesn't change anything. You still get to just generate too many free cards. That shouldn't be possible. There's a re there's a reason why cards cost mana, and, and there's a mana system. So 
That's how things are balanced. Um, I think the probably the the best way to balance Heimerdinger. Oh no, I want to play Yasuo, but. The best way to to balance Heimerdinger is to not make those turrets fleeting, right? To like they generate in hand, but don't have them cost zero. So if you if you play the three mana spell, you get the three mana three one. You got to spend three mana on it. Like maybe that's like that's probably better. Like it because you know then you actually have to pay mana for your stuff. Um. Well, now I was planning on playing Yas Yasuo, but. You think that would kill Heimerdinger completely? Well, the card has to be changed. As is, it's not—it's not a reasonable card right now. It's not—it's not a fair card, in the slightest. It's—it's it's the most broken card in the game by such a wide margin, like individual card. And it kind of always has been. It's just not—not not had frost. the best My support all the, the time. And Brom is your wingman. Leave us for the guiltless. Let's go out for the story of the Creating zero mana turrets is not healthy. That needs to go. And I personally don't think that that would kill Heimerdinger taking off mana cost, or like taking off fleeting and adding mana cost. I mean, you're still generating a whole bunch of free cards. You can pair that, you know, like with Rummage if you want, if you want to discard them, if you don't want to play them. Like, you're still you're still generating a whole bunch of free cards. Um, I don't think that would kill the card. Maybe I should have kept the Intimidating Roar. Don't want to. I, I just don't want to kill these champions because of Rekindler. So I don't like any of my plays. Life and death on the blade's edge. And I don't, I don't want to tap under Deny with playing Minotaur Reckoner, um, so I don't want to do that. I guess I'll play this thing. They're out there. I'll spot them. Mm, I shouldn't have played that. I don't think there's any patch notes out. Not that I know of. 
No, there's no new patch notes out. Patch notes come out on Tuesdays. Um, but next Tuesday, I think we will get, get one. No, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to play this game at all. I don't think I've been playing this game very well, but I just don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. That's one way to do it. I don't know, I was kind of talking about Heimerdinger and really just didn't play this game very well. I don't... I don't know what we're supposed to do about this game, though. Like, I don't I don't know exactly, like, what lines I really should have been taking the whole time. I just don't... I don't know, I'm not... I'm not thrilled with our deck. I feel like we have to be much more proactive than what we are. This is just... Seems like we're just sitting back and losing every single game tonight. I don't know what I'm missing and why, what I should be doing differently. personal preference too. I mean, I think I think that I personally would be playing a proactive deck much better than when I'm playing this all reactive deck. Um, but kind of like as we talked about with Karina Control yesterday, I just don't think that all reactive decks are very well positioned. Hey Stormy Ven. But yeah, it should, should have cast more spells. Likely. That's what I tried to do. I tried to have four mana up and throw down Yasuo. That's what I tried to do, but that was too slow. Um, By my hand, will Noxus rise. Because we're like we're really reactive, but all of our reactive stuff, like basically all of our reactive stuff, doesn't level up Swain even. I, I think it's perfectly fine to have champs level up for being enlightened. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. That's completely reasonable. I 
can't bounce a Nevia. Because now Nevia costs six mana and they still have six mana. So stun and recall are like tempo plays. Like they're not they're not actual removal, they're just tempo plays. And without being able to pressure the opponent at all, these tempo plays are just dead cards in our hands. They just don't they don't do anything. They don't impact the game. Because sure, we we stun. It's just it's it's a delay mechanic really, right? Like so we're spending a, an entire turn or like an sorry, an entire card to stun but then, or bounce back to their hand, but then they can just recast, or they can just wait till the next turn and attack the next turn. And if we don't, you know, like all that, is, it's a little bit of tempo loss, like where we, we have an opening for a turn, but if we don't have ways to pressure the opponents, the cards aren't useful. Does that make sense? Like the, the longer the game goes, the longer the game goes, the worse cards like Will of Ionia and, um, Concussive Palm, stuff like that. The worse they are, the longer the game is. Because that the longer the game is, the less any individual turn matters. And our deck is trying to play a very long game. Because we have one card that we can play before turn three in our whole deck. We're, we're trying to play a very long game. But... Um... But our cards are cards that reward you for playing a short game. Now, of course, with Yasuo in play, it changes because with Yasuo in play, then those cards can turn into hard removal. So things change. But it's not easy to have Yasuo in play. You not only have to draw your Yasuo, but then you also need your opponent to not kill your Yasuo. Make the Empire not an, an easy combination. Okay, do you like that Ravenous Flock? That's a good spot. This is a good spot for Ravenous Flock for sure. Okay, we're going to try to set up the Intimidating Roar Yasuo combo. That's good for us. They spent, you know, spent their whole turn not affecting the board. That's good for us. They must have a lot of Decimates if that's what they're willing to do. Cast Decimate and... Oh, I can't wait. Um, <clears throat> Cast us mate and uh, block. War Mason, reporting for duty. could have gone Transfusion to save their card from Coaling Strike, and then I would have had Ravenous Flock after the Transfusion, so it would have worked out.
on, take three. So I did want to play Intimidating Roar and then they just play Adarius. Because then I wouldn't have any mana to do anything else. And then, so same thing with the Swain. Twenty damage still. It's not going to be the easiest. Twenty damage. I don't know exactly why those things are attacking, but I like it. to try to kill them. Okay, GG. History will remember. It's definitely a lot better. We got to be more proactive. We got to put a lot more things on the board. We we did a good job of drawing um, our, you know, we did a good job of drawing Yasuo 1 and then just our bunch of our 3 twos, you know, a bunch of Avra, or, uh, Arachnoid Sentries and Concussive Palms. So yeah, draw it. That's what we gotta do. We gotta draw our Yasso and multiple sentries and concussive bombs and stuff like that. This could be a great intimidating roar matchup. Quinn is very weak to that card. Okay. So we need to find Yasso though also. So we want the Yasso intimidating roar combo could be awesome here. Oh, I didn't update the deckless command. You're covered. There we go. Okay, there's Yasuo. So now we gotta just survive and try to set that up. Try to have them not kill Yasuo right away. We would need turn six. To be able to drop both of them at the same turn, to be able to just like drop Yasuo, then Intimidating Roar. Who does not know the name Nagakaburu's 
guide us. Mm. This is our way. Any lighter. So I do have the mana to go Spirit's Refuge also on it to try to gain a lot of life. Um. Oh my gosh, I don't have the mana to Spirit's Refuge also. Why, why did I think I did? What am I doing? Why can't I count? What am I doing? Why did I think that would work? Obviously we have three extra mana, not four. That's my fault. It's embarrassing. A Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. Like to have that four mana. Would've been nice. Nice to have that extra mana. Protect and strike. Glory and relenting. Hope you brought friends. Yeah, I just threw this one away. So I'm sorry about that. Pilot error. I don't. Um, yeah, you know, I should. I could even just like barriered. Even if I would have just like barriered before combat, uh, gain the life. Yeah, that's a feels bad. Um, so I'm sorry. I'm not perfect. So I did like the Legion Grenadier. I did like that, but I wanted a lot more... I don't know. I, I just kind of wanted more units. Didn't feel to have very many. Um...
Donator says that they have a good win rate with the deck. It's their play style. Yeah, I, that's definitely a that's definitely a thing of um, different people have different play styles, and this one did not really feel like my play style. This version of of Yasuo Swain. Um, I think I prefer more your your Fey Blade Twirlers and uh, being more aggressive and, and your Yones and stuff like that um, than, than Intimidating Roar, Culling Strike, than those kind of cards. We really do seem like we struggle leveling up Swain, though, also with this deck. Like, we have Ravenous Flock that can sometimes do four. We have Death's Hand that can do three. Grenadier can die and do two. And that's about it. Like, if, if we don't have Yasuo, Swain's not going to be leveled up. Um, yeah, so I, I guess I kind of prefer just having more... Um, more things to, to level up Swain and just more damage... Doing yeah, just doing more damage and all that kind of stuff, but um So yeah. So sorry about that. Sorry about that last game. Um But uh Yeah, alright. That's that's Yasuo Swain. Um I, I have I don't know a single thing about Twitch Rivals for those of y'all asking about Twitch Rivals. I, I know literally nothing about it. Okay, anyway, uh, that's it here for Yasuo Swain. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to feel free to leave a comment with your version of Yasuo Swain if you're you know if you're playing something a little different. Uh, you know, feel free to do that. Um, also feel free to uh, talk about how some of these cards are good and what I'm missing with the control a control version of Yasuo Swain. Um, yeah, I, I like to, you know, I always try to have more, you know, try, you know, I want more information, all that kind of stuff. So feel free to, you know, leave some of those positive comments about playing Yasuo control. All right. But anyway, uh, that's it here for uh, Yasuo Swain. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.